Okay, Junior Jets, today we're going to London, the capital city of England. We have a very special mission. You have all been invited to Buckingham Palace, the official home of the King of England. Your mission is to help host a royal tea party and guard the royal crown. Mission accepted! Let's go see London. Three, two, one. Jumps, Jumps away! away. Welcome to Buckingham Palace. I am the head butler. Now, Ollie and Malik, you will guard the gates. Polly, Grace and Lucas will make the party food. Jackson and Iris, you have the most important job of all, guarding the crown. Right, let's get to work. Junior Jets, go! As foot guards, we have to march. <laughs> But, um, does this look right? Oh, I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> okay, I'm ready with the royal salad cream. Whoa! <gasps> oh! Sorry, Grace. <laughs> yeah, something brushed past me. No idea what. Wow! There are a lot of rooms in Buckingham Palace. Yes. 775 to be exact. This is St. Edward's crown. It is only used for crowning a new king or queen. The tea party guests will get a chance to see it, but until that time, no one is allowed in here. Whoa, stop right there. State your business. Oh, uh, I'm the tea party coordinator. I'm looking for someone to help serve the Victoria sponge cake. Named after Queen Victoria, you know. Anyway, um, we're running late because the sandwiches have to be remade. The first batch got knocked to the ground. Then one of the corgis ate some of the cucumber and is now running around the royal gardens. <laughs> I will calm the corgi. I have his favourite bone biscuits. I can help serve the cake. And I'll keep watch over the crown. Intruders, enter if you dare. <laughs> oh. Where'd you learn to sword fight? Night school? The tea party sounds like loads of fun. And they've got delicious cake. Jackson. Why aren't you guarding the crown? Oh, no one was around, so I left it. Just for a moment. No! <gasps> Someone's taken the crown! Whoever took it had a red rose and, um, bone-shaped biscuits. Who had a red rose and dog biscuits? Oh! <gasps> The butler had a red rose in his jacket, and he was going to give the corgi some biscuits. Well, I say, the butler did it. Come on, let's go find him. There! And they go this way. There's the butler and the stolen crown. I beg your pardon, I didn't steal it. I found the crown unguarded. But I had to get the tea ready, so I brought it with me for safekeeping. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have left it. I'll guard it properly this time. I wonder how Jackson's getting on guarding the crown again. The crown is safe, and the royal corgis are calm. Well done, Junior Jets. Junior Jets, mission complete! You'll never guess what! I've just been to Buckingham Palace in London! Buckingham Palace is the official royal residence of the King. It used to be called Buckingham House and was bought by King George III for his wife. In 1825, King George IV then decided to change the house into a palace. There were two King Georges, so 
Have there been lots of kings and queens? There have been 62 monarchs of England and Britain spread over a period of approximately 1,200 years. So who was the first one? The first king was Egbert and reigned for 37 years. Did other kings or queens reign for longer? Britain's longest serving monarch was Queen Elizabeth II and reigned for 70 years and 214 days. Whoa! There were so many royals! London, over and out. Let's go see. Okay, Junior Jets, today we're going to London, the capital city of England. We have a very special mission. An artist has been asked to make a sculpture for Trafalgar Square. Your mission is to take the big sculpture piece to Trafalgar Square. This must all be done in time for the big reveal. Mission accepted! Let's go see London. Three, two, one. Jumps, jumps away! away. Ah, it's Stacy Edmund the artist. Oh, Junior Jets, I could really use your help. This is the main part of my sculpture. Take it to Trafalgar Square and wait for me. But please be careful. It's delicate. Oh, don't worry. It's in safe hands. Thank you. Right, I'd better dash. I still need to finish the piece that goes on top. Junior Jets, go! Uh, taxi. 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 Ugh. This is known as Trafalgar Square's fourth plinth. It is the only empty one here. Aye, but since 1999, different art pieces have been put on top. See, like Stacy's. I wonder what Stacy's sculpture looks like. I'm sure I can just take a wee peek. Oh! <gasps> Grace, I'm stuck in traffic. Is everything okay? I everything is fine. I have a new mission to fix the sculpture before Stacy gets here. Big Ben is like super tall. My Avatron says you have to climb 334 steps to go up to its bell. Well, I have another interesting fact about Big Ben for you. Cool is that fact? Wait, I think I've got it. No, that's not it. Maybe it's more like a tower. Are you sure trying to put the sculpture back together is the right thing to do? What do you think Grace should do? Hello, Stacy. I, uh, I. I dropped the sculpture. It's broken into pieces. I am so sorry. Right, it, it's okay. You owned up. But what are we going to do? The big reveal is soon. I'm going to tell you how to put the sculpture back together. Can you do that? Aye, with some help. Ah, you're back. So, I was telling you this fact about Big Ben and... Come in, Junior Jets. I need your help. We're run our way. Next stop, please. OK, let's put the sculpture back together. Junior Jets, go! There's just one piece missing. And it's right here. Great work, Junior Jets. Now we can get it on the plinth. May I present my latest sculpture for the fourth plinth on time. Um, is that Big Ben, but without the walls of the tower? Yes, because the name Big Ben actually refers to the bell inside. That's what I was trying to tell you. Sure it was. <laughs> well, at least the sculpture was put back together on time. Junior Jets, mission complete! Let's go see! Us 
Junior Jets have just been on a mission to London, and I saw Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square is in central London. A statue called Nelson's Column stands in the centre to mark the victory of the Battle of Trafalgar. Wow! What other landmarks does London have? London has many landmarks, including London Bridge and Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge has towers, just like its name. London Bridge does not. Both bridges stand over the River Thames. Are there boats on the River Thames? Yes, there are many modes of transport. Red buses and the London Underground, also known as the Tube. Is that a train system that's all underground? Yes, and it is the oldest underground railway in the world. There's lots to do above and underground. Oh, I love London. London, over and out. Let's go see! So fashionable, no wonder it's England's capital Built by Romans 2,000 years ago It's a city where you have to go Double-decker buses, a red phone box Beat feet as black cabs, riverfront docks I just can't wait, I wanna go now Sing with me, shout it out loud Let's go see London It's always busy United Kingdom's largest city Tower Bridge, River Thames runs through And it had the world's very first zoo Underground trains, the gherkin, the shop Kew Gardens, the changing of the guard I just can't wait, wanna go now Sing with me, shout it out loud Let's go see London It's had over 60 kings and queens Museums, the oldest one around. Festivals, music, always on trend. Musicals light up theatres, West End. Covent Garden, Trafalgar Square, Millennium Wheel, the early good Mayfair. I just can't wait, I wanna go now. Sing with me, shout it out loud. Let's go see London. It's had over 60 kings and queens. Let's go see London. The home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids TV characters. Now let's find kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is. <laughs> 